Aviation security is a cornerstone of global connectivity and at the heart of it is ISAO Annex 17. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO for short, is a specialized agency of the United Nations that sets international standards and regulations for aviation safety, security, efficiency, and more. Among its many contributions to aviation, Annex 17 holds a significant place. It's all about aviation security, a vital aspect that ensures the safety of air travel worldwide. Annex 17 is dedicated to safeguarding international civil aviation against acts of unlawful interference, be it terrorism, sabotage, or hijacking. It lays out the framework for aviation security, offering guidelines and standards that countries around the globe adhere to. Understanding Annex 17 means understanding the foundation of aviation security. Aviation security didn't just appear overnight. It has a rich history rooted in global cooperation and innovation. The need for a unified approach to safeguarding international civil aviation against unlawful acts became evident in the mid-20th century. As the world became more interconnected, so did the risks and threats facing the aviation industry. Recognizing these challenges, the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, took decisive action. In March 1974, the organization adopted the first Standards and Recommended Practices, known as SARPs, for international aviation security. This marked a significant step in the evolution of aviation security, paving the way for the implementation of Annex 17. Annex 17 was designed to establish a global framework for aviation security, addressing the unique challenges posed by an increasingly globalized world. The establishment of Annex 17 was a pivotal moment for aviation security, setting the groundwork for the standards we see today. Annex 17 isn't a single rule, but a collection of standards and recommended practices, also known as SARPs. These SARPs are the heart and soul of Annex 17, offering guidelines and directions that nations aim to follow to ensure the safety of international civil aviation. Key components include preventive security measures, quality control, and risk assessment. These elements work together to form a comprehensive framework for aviation security. Preventive security measures involve procedures to deter and detect acts of unlawful interference such as thorough passenger and baggage screening. Quality control, on the other hand, ensures that these preventive measures are consistently effective and compliant with international standards. Risk assessment, the third key component, is about identifying and evaluating potential threats to aviation security. These SARPs form the backbone of Annex 17, providing the robust structure needed for effective aviation security. Security isn't just about rules and regulations, it's also about culture. In the complex world of civil aviation, the introduction of a new provision dedicated to security culture marks a significant shift in how we approach safety. This provision fundamentally recognizes that security is not just the responsibility of a single department, but rather the collective responsibility of everyone involved in aviation. From pilots to ground staff, from air traffic controllers to the passengers themselves, everyone has a role to play. This culture of security is not just a theoretical concept. It's about fostering a mindset, an attitude, a set of behaviors that prioritize security at every level of operation. It's about creating an environment where everyone is vigilant, aware, and proactive in identifying and addressing potential security threats. It's about ensuring that security measures are not just implemented, but integrated into the very fabric of our organizations. The importance of this security culture cannot be overstated. In an industry where the stakes are incredibly high, a strong security culture serves as a robust line of defense, a strong deterrent against threats to aviation security. It's not just about preventing incidents, but about creating a culture that makes incidents less likely to occur in the first place. A strong security culture is a strong deterrent against threats to aviation security. 
Security is a shared responsibility, and this is reflected in the Aircraft Operator Security Programs, or AOSP. These programs are a significant element of Annex 17, underscoring the pivotal role aircraft operators play in maintaining global aviation security. The AOSP demands that operators have in place rigorous measures to prevent acts of unlawful interference. A significant update in this area came with Amendment 18. This amendment introduced new and updated provisions, ensuring that AOSP remained responsive to the evolving security landscape. For instance, new provisions require operators to conduct risk assessments and apply security controls accordingly. This means that security measures are not just reactive, but proactive, anticipating potential threats before they materialize. In essence, the AOSP is not just about implementing security measures. It's about fostering a culture of security where every individual, from the pilot to the ground staff, understands their role in protecting the safety of their aircraft and passengers. The AOSP is a crucial part of Annex 17, ensuring aircraft operators also play their part in maintaining aviation security. Annex 17 isn't set in stone. It evolves to address emerging threats. One of the most recent updates is the 18th Amendment. This amendment introduced significant changes to further enhance global aviation security. It reflects the ongoing commitment of the International Civil Aviation Organization to adapt and respond to new and evolving threats in the aviation industry. Amendment 18 brought in new provisions and updated existing ones ensuring that Annex 17 stays relevant and effective in the face of changing security landscapes. It's important to understand that Annex 17 isn't a static document. It's a living, breathing set of guidelines that undergoes regular revisions and updates. This continuous evolution is vital to keep pace with the dynamic threat environment and ensure that the aviation industry remains one step ahead of those who would do it harm. Just like our dynamic world, Annex 17 also adapts and grows to ensure robust aviation security. In today's digital age, cybersecurity is a growing concern in aviation. The air transport ecosystem is more interconnected than ever, making it susceptible to cyber threats. And this is where Annex 17 steps in. It recognizes the importance of securing not just our skies, but also our digital information highways. Annex 17's Standards and Recommended Practices, or SARPs, provide airlines, airports, and other aviation stakeholders with crucial guidance on how to protect their systems and data from cyber attacks. It addresses everything from vulnerability assessments to incident response planning, helping to create a robust cybersecurity framework. The aim is to ensure that the aviation industry can respond effectively to evolving cyber threats. This is a testament to the comprehensive nature of Annex 17's security measures. It's not just about guarding against physical threats such as hijacking or terrorism, but also about protecting the industry from digital threats. Annex 17 is not just about physical threats, but also digital ones, ensuring comprehensive aviation security. There are common questions about Annex 17, and we have the answers. One of the most frequently asked questions is, what is the purpose of Annex 17? Simply put, its purpose is to safeguard international civil aviation against acts of unlawful interference. It prescribes standards and recommended practices, or SARPs, to achieve this aim. Another question often posed is, why was Annex 17 implemented? Annex 17 was enacted in response to the growing need for a unified and robust approach to aviation security. The first adoption of SARPs for International Aviation Security by the ICO Council took place in March of 1974. Then there's the query, what is the relevance of the Aircraft Operator Security Programs or AOSP to Annex 17? The AOSP is a critical element of Annex 17, ensuring that aircraft operators have robust security measures in place. It received new and updated provisions with the introduction of Amendment 18. Lastly, how does Annex 17 address cybersecurity? 
Annex 17 SARPs provide guidance on protecting the air transport ecosystem from cyber threats, acknowledging the increasing importance of cybersecurity in aviation. Understanding Annex 17 is crucial to understanding global aviation security. Annex 17 isn't just a document, it's a global force shaping aviation security. It affects various stakeholders in the aviation industry worldwide, from airlines and airports to governments and security agencies. By setting the standards and recommended practices, Annex 17 provides a common ground for everyone involved in aviation security, ensuring that security measures are harmonized and effective. For instance, in Europe, the European Union Aviation Security Programme is closely aligned with Annex 17, ensuring high-level security across all member states. Meanwhile, countries like Singapore have adopted Annex 17 SARPs into their National Aviation Security Programme, reinforcing their commitment to maintaining a secure and safe aviation system. Even in countries with emerging aviation markets, Annex 17 has a profound influence. For example, in African nations, the implementation of Annex 17 SARPs helps to establish robust aviation security frameworks, contributing to the safety and growth of their aviation industries. Annex 17 has a far-reaching impact, shaping aviation security across the globe. We've journeyed through the world of Annex 17, but the journey doesn't end here. We've delved into the International Civil Aviation Organization's Annex 17, looking at its significance in global aviation security. We've explored its evolution, the key components that shape it, and the importance of establishing a security culture within organizations. We've also discussed the concept of aircraft operator security programs and how recent updates keep it relevant in an ever-changing world. We've addressed the growing concern of cybersecurity in aviation and how Annex 17 provides guidance on this pressing issue. In our quest for understanding, we've tackled some frequently asked questions and shed light on the global impact of Annex 17, demonstrating how it influences aviation stakeholders worldwide. This exploration is just the tip of the iceberg. There's always more to learn, more to understand. So, Continue to seek knowledge about aviation security and the pivotal role of ICAO's Annex 17. Stay informed, stay engaged, and remember, aviation security is everyone's responsibility.